I got something in the mail today that I think is going to be fun for us to do with our grandson. And it's a praying mantis gift set from insectlore.com. And inside is actually a praying mantis egg case and everything else you need to grow these to maturity. So we're going to open this right away and get the egg case set up in its proper environment. So these praying mantises have the best chance of growing to adulthood. And you can choose the date that this ships because you wouldn't want it to arrive when you're away on vacation and no one would be home to get it in off of the porch. So let's see what's inside. And they threw in a packet of seeds of wildflowers so you can grow something else besides praying mantises. And right there is the praying mantis egg case. And that has all the praying mantis eggs in there. Looks like they broke it off a twig that it was on. You also get this little stand, it kind of looks like leaves. There's some little plastic pieces, they're like little plastic toys more or less. There's a praying mantis, an egg case, some leaves, and there's also a little pump bottle inside. Read me instructions, very important. Praying mantis egg case quick guide to get you started. And then this is the actual habitat that you'll be putting them in, so you can undo it and pop it out. It unzips and then the egg case and everything will go down here on the bottom. So now you're supposed to take the egg case out of here and put it in this holder. And I'm gonna pick it up by the little stick that it's on. And you're supposed to put it right in the middle here so it's supported. Looks like it's on there pretty solid. And it says to maintain this egg case at room temperature at all times. And this is actually a misting bottle. So you put a little water in this, and once a week, you're supposed to lightly spray the egg case to give it some moisture. It says dehydration is one of the main reasons that these egg cases fail, and you never get to see any nymphs. So that's all you have to do at this stage. And you can kind of push down in this habitat so it's easier to put the egg case down in there, and then let it come back up. We're all set. And besides just the instructions in the quick guide, you can go to insectlore.com and there's videos you can watch that show exactly what you're supposed to do step by step and they go into more detail. And our praying mantises are still inside their egg case. Nothing has really changed with them. So we just keep spraying the egg case to keep the humidity around them. It's finally happened. Got up this morning and was going to miss the egg case and saw all these little guys had already got out. There's a whole bunch of them in there. They're real small. The thing now is to get them fed. So it says to find some soft bodied insects and feed that to them. If you can't get that, you might go to a pet store and get some fruit flies. So I have to find some food for these little fellas. You should also decorate their habitat with some sticks and leaves, different types of foliage for them to perch on. There's another look inside. They're moving around in there pretty good, some of them. And I'm waiting for my grandson to get off from preschool so he can check these out too. He's been really interested in these. Not sure he's ever really seen a real one. Oh, they are. They are. Wow. Awesome. What's going on with them, Cohen? Well, they just got all their little things and they kind of run the way out. And they're kind of walking around right now. And they're climbing. I see the little pinchers. They're kind of cute. They're like little babies. Hello. Little babies, aren't they? What are they? What kind of bug? Cream and says. What do they eat? Insects. Is this a good bug or a bad bug? A good bug. Yeah. They can eat any bad ones. They can eat any bad bugs. They eat crickets too to get bigger. Yeah. Wow. They're babies right now. It's gonna get bigger and bigger. We need to keep feeding them. They are moving a little bit. One thing I'd caution if you're going to raise praying mantises is to be sure that before you get them, before they hatch, that you have something to feed them, that you have a steady food supply for them. They eat soft-bodied bugs such as aphids. So if you have plants that attract aphids, you'll be fine. So I didn't have any plants around my house that attracted aphids. And my pet store didn't have any fruit flies. So I ordered some from Josh's Frogs off of Amazon. They sent me this fruit fly culture and it arrived with some adult fruit flies in it and some that haven't matured yet. So this should keep them going for quite a while. 
keep that in mind. Don't order them, don't try to raise them unless you know you can feed them. There you can see some fruit flies in there. So I've got them outside and I'm gonna take the lid off of it and just kind of shake the lid into the praying mantis habitat and see how well they like fruit flies. And the praying mantises are doing fine. They're running around catching fruit flies that are in there. So they're getting well fed. And they're very good hunters. I've just added some more of the fruit flies in there. And we'll see if any of the praying mantises are actually hungry right now. So we timed it pretty well. We caught them coming out of their egg case. Here's some new ones just making their way out. Very cool. Looks like quite a struggle for them to get out of there and get separated from each other. But that probably helps them get a little stronger too. We're gonna have several once they all get out of there. That one there has caught a fruit fly. And, and so is that one. Oh, and I guess it's time to let them go. What do you think? Why do we let them go when they're babies? They're growing up and they get bigger by eating and we're running out of food to feed them. So you think they'll find food in this bush? Uh, I already see one. A spider. You see a spider in it's there? It's a baby white spider. They could eat that. We're going to release them out into some bushes that have some flowers and other types of leaves and insects smaller than them that they can feed on. And this turned out really well. The egg cases that we had produced a lot of praying mantises and they've been really fun to watch them grow. Very educational and very cool. And today's a nice sunny warm day, so I'm just going to tip their cage over and let them find their way out into this bush. There they go. One of them just jumped. Tell them goodbye. That was a good goodbye. Goodbye guys. And I keep checking on them and this is about a week and a half later after we released them. There are several praying mantises that we see in the bush where we let them go and they're growing. So they seem to be doing pretty well out here. And I've seen one that's bigger than this one too. And I'm looking forward to seeing them grow and watching them throughout the summer. And this is a project that was fun and educational, and you might want to try it too.